Welcome again. So we're gonna start today by sitting on our feet. We're gonna rest our hands very gently on our knees and we're gonna close our eyes and listen to our surroundings. We're gonna see if maybe we can find or listen to five songs around us. So let's sit up tall, close your eyes and let's listen keenly. You can open your eyes and count out the five items that you heard. For me, I heard a lot of breeze and water and people walking and people talking and I don't know what else, maybe some birds. All right, so from here now, let's take a nice deep breath in, bring both hands all the way up. Our right hand will grab our left wrist as we stretch to the right side. You're gonna breathe in all the way back up into the center. Have your left hand grab your right wrist as you stretch to the left side. Let's breathe in all the way back up again. Right hand grabbing the left, exhaling to the right side. And breathe in all the way back up. Left hand grabs the right wrist as we exhale to the left side. Let's breathe in all the way back up. We're gonna bring our hands down, bind our hands behind our back. We're gonna see if we can press our thumbs into the ground. As we press our thumbs into the ground, really try to push your chest forward. So from here, we're getting a nice open chest. We're gonna breathe all the way out, bringing our forehead onto the ground, raising your hands off of your back. And we're going to do a little rock side to side. So lots of stretching in your shoulders and your triceps happening here. Let's stop rocking. Bring your hands back down and make your way up. We're going to roll the shoulders out to undo that stretch. That was a lot. That was a hard one. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Good, now let's stop rolling and let's bring our left hand onto our right knee and our right hand will go behind. As you breathe in, I want you to sit up nice and tall and breathe out as you twist, as if we're trying to pop our backs. So see if you can get any cracks from here. We're gonna look over our right shoulder, observing what's behind us. And we're gonna breathe in back to the center and bring the right hand onto the left knee and breathe out as you twist again, trying as much as you can to pop your back. And breathe back into the center, exhaling to the right side again. But let's see if we can go a bit deeper perhaps. So we're really twisting out a lot here. And breathe back into the center, exhaling to the left side. Twist, twist, twist. And breathe back into the center. We're gonna rest our hands to the side of us and comfortably sit on the floor, bringing our legs in front of us, crossing at our ankles. From here, we're gonna take a deep breath in, bring both hands up, interlace your fingers and flip your palms up. Stretch towards your ceiling or the sky and breathe out as you fold all the way over, bringing your hands down, elbows down, and forehead onto the ground. And we hold it right here. You're gonna feel a little stretch in your hips.
Once you're accustomed to being here and you're comfortable, we're gonna walk our way over to the right side, staying as low as we can go. And now let's walk back into the center and over to the left side. Going super, super low. And now back into the center and we hold it right here. Let's make our way back up and we're gonna bring our legs into butterfly. So remember that butterfly is with the feet pressed to the bottom. Interlace your fingers around your toes and point your thumbs up. As you breathe in, you lengthen, straightening up your back, sitting tall, relaxing those shoulders away from your ears. And we're gonna breathe out all the way, bringing your forehead onto your thumbs. Maybe if you're on a more flexible side, your forehead can touch your toes. That would be great. And let's hold it here. But it's okay if your forehead can't touch anything. That's also fine. Let's make our way up and we're gonna bring both legs straight out in front of us. You can grab onto the big toes, all of your toes or your ankles. And as you breathe out, we're gonna fold all the way over, stretching our legs out. This is particularly helpful, especially since everybody is doing online school and it's really hampering us right now. And breathe in all the way up from your forward fold and we're gonna bring our right leg up towards us this way. We're gonna rest our right hand at the back of us for some balance and your left hand will come behind the right knee and we're gonna twist, 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 twist looking over the left shoulder. We're gonna call this pose Half Lord of the Fishes Pose. Let's breathe in back into the center, bring the right leg down and let's raise the left leg up. The left hand goes behind our, ourselves and the right hand comes up and behind as we twist, looking over the left shoulder. And now breathe back into the center and let's open up our legs wide apart. Sitting nice and wide apart, our right hand will come onto the ground and your left hand will go all the way up and over, reaching for our toes. This is your revolved head to knee pose. And let's breathe in all the way back up, exhaling to the left side, bringing your hand to grab the toes. And let's breathe in all the way back up, exhaling to the right side. And let's breathe in all the way up, exhaling to the left side. And now from here, we're going to take it up a notch. We're going to roll all the way forward, resting onto our elbows. We hold it here into a nice wide legged seated forward fold. Let's just chill here. You're gonna feel this a lot on your inner thighs, onto your thighs, that's called your hamstrings. It's a lot. And now make your way up. We're gonna close our legs to one side and roll onto our knees, coming into our tabletop position. We're gonna ensure our hips are over our knees and our shoulders are over our wrists. Looking straight ahead, you're gonna inhale into your cow pose, arching your hips up, and breathe out into your cat's pose, protracting through our shoulders, looking at your thighs. Keep that back rounded as much as you can. And now breathe all the way into your cow pose, and breathe out into your cat pose. Let's breathe into our cow pose again. And breathe out into your cat. Breathe into your cow pose. And let's breathe out into our cat. And let's breathe into our cow one last time. And breathe out into our cat one last time. 
We're gonna breathe into our started position, which was our tabletop position. So a nice neutral back, straight back. We're gonna bring our right leg out in front of us, balance on your heel. You're gonna keep your palms pressed firmly into the ground. If you find you can't keep your palms pressed firmly into the ground, you can make a cuff onto the ground. So from here, you can bend at your elbows and lower your chin towards your shin. We're gonna call this one our half pyramid pose. So you're gonna feel this in your calf and under in your hamstrings. Now make your way up, straight arms once more, and we're gonna roll all the way forward, interlacing our fingers, pressing that knee forward. So you're stretching your thighs here. We're gonna call that our quad muscles. So push, 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 stretching your quads. And we're gonna call this pose our low lunge. Now from here, let's bring our left hand onto the ground and our right hand will push that right leg away, stretching out our hips. At the same time, we're gonna raise our left leg behind us our right hand will reach back to grab on to the left leg. If you're on the more flexible side, you can start to pull that leg into you or you can just stay here. Either one works. Just focus on breathing here. It may hurt for now, but as you keep doing it, it's gonna get better. Let us release our left leg. Bring your right hand back onto the ground and we're gonna slide our right leg to the left side of our mat or space, whatever we're using, pressing ourselves down into our pigeon pose. Just ensure your hips are nice and square here and then you're gonna walk your hands forward, eventually coming to rest onto your forearms. And we hold it here. This is an amazing pose for those who are doing the online school and have to sit all day and those who have lower back pain. Be holding. If you want, you can do a little rock side to side, or you can walk your hands over to the right side, deepening your stretch. Then we're gonna walk back into the center, over to the left. The choice is yours. You can basically do anything here. You can read a book here. You can watch a show here. And now let's make our way up we're gonna press our left toes into our mat, press your palms into the mat and lift all the way back into our tabletop position. Let's now bring the left leg in front of us, palms flat, our fists on the floor, and we we'll bend at our elbows to lower the chin towards the shin. Half pyramid pose. Let's breathe in as we roll all the way forward, interlacing our fingers behind the left knee, pushing all the way down. Push, push, push as much as you can. And now bring the right hand down and your left hand will push that left leg away, pushing it far away from us as we can go. We don't want to see this leg anymore. Now let's raise our right leg, reaching back with the left hand to grab on stretching our quads out. Let us release that right leg, press your left hand onto the ground and slide that left leg to the right side of your mat, pressing all the way down, walking forward, resting on your elbows. Pigeon pose left side. So we stay here if you are shaking side to side on the right side, you can try it on the left, see how it feels here. Sometimes the different sides will have different sensations, some of which is good, some of which is bad. You can keep rocking side to side, or if you are walking right side to left side, you can do so once more, walking far right as much as you can, then walking back into the center and walking to the far left. Let's walk back into the center and we hold it here for a little bit more. We're gonna make our way up, press our toes into the ground, but this time we're doing a very strong transition. It's kind of tough. So we're gonna lift up and push back into our downward dog. 
So once we're in our downward dog, we're gonna pedal our legs like we would pedal a bicycle by bending at one knee at a time, trying to press that heel into the ground. Once your heel is into the ground, you're gonna feel that little calf stretch there. That's exactly what we want. And today we're gonna to try something new. From here, we're gonna to transition to the front of our mat and we're gonna start our sun salutations eight. So let's stop pedaling, bend at your knees, look straight ahead of you, and let's do a giant hop to the front of your mat, breathing all the way up into your standing back bend, push through the fingers as if you're yawning, and breathe all the way out, folding over, hugging yourselves, pressing your face towards your legs. Inhale as you touch your toes. We're here, it's called your half lift. And now bend at your knees, press your palms firmly into the ground. We can either hop back into our plank or you can step back. Just ensure your shoulders stay over your wrists. This is a fun little exercise, lots of range of motion here. This is your plank pose, breathe out here. Now we're gonna bring the tops of our feet onto the floor, pressing ourselves down, breathing into your upward facing dog. This is a nice little back stretch here. You can start to rock side to side here too, just to tease your little strength a bit. And then you're gonna rest your knees onto the floor, push back to a mini tabletop position, tucking your toes, exhaling as you lift back, into your downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look straight ahead of you again. Let's hop to the front of our mat, breathing into your half lift. Touch those toes. And let's breathe out as we give ourselves a giant hug into our forward fold. Breathe in all the way up, stretching up as much as you can to your standing back bend and breathe out into our mountain pose. Mountain, because you're just standing. So let's take a nice deep breath and bring both hands all the way up into prayer. And we're gonna bring our hands down into the center as the right leg rests on the inner calf area. This is your tree pose. Try to keep the hips aligned as we stay here, working on our balance. For me, it's a bit more challenging to be here because I'm on the sand. Yeah, it's so hard here right now. And now let's transition from our tree pose by bringing our hands out in front of us and kicking that right leg back into our warrior three. Look straight ahead of you. Keep working on that balance. You got this. And now we're gonna drop that right leg onto the ground, raising your hands up into your high lunge. From here now, we're gonna do something super simple. We're gonna step our right leg up to the front of our mat into our chair pose. And breathe out as we stand nice and tall into our mountain pose. Good, let's breathe in all the way up, bringing your hands back into prayer, bringing it in your heart center, and your left leg will go on the inner right calf. Tree pose on the left side. We hold it here, working on our balance. I don't have proper balance on my right side. It's much harder here for me. So if you got this side as your better side, kudos to you. Now let's bring our hands out in front of us and kick that left leg back into our warrior three. We hold it here. Ideally, your warrior three looks like the capital T. So you can start to work on that here. Now bend at the right knee, dropping the left leg onto the floor, raising all the way up into our high lunge. And we're gonna breathe out as we step that left leg to the top of our mat into our chair pose. Let's hold our chair pose here. Keep a nice straight back and you can look between your palms or straight ahead of you. Whatever feels more comfortable for you. And now breathe out into your forward fold. Inhale into your half lift. And we're gonna exhale as you press your palms onto the ground. The first time we jumped back, this time let's just try stepping all the way back into our plank, looking straight ahead of us. And we're gonna breathe into our upward facing dog. Breathe out to your downward facing dog. And now another fun transition. 
bend at your knees, look straight ahead of you, and we're gonna hop to the front of our mat to look like a little frog. Coming into our malasana, but we actually call this one our yogi squat. But you can see how it can be a frog, right? Because your hands come down and then you look like a frog. So let's bring our hands up here. Stretching our hips, just being comfortable here. I know a lot of times we do this one here when we're playing and stuff. We just do our malasana, we don't even realize it. Let's bring our right hand down and stretch as we lift that left hand up, opening your chest, looking at your ceiling or the sky. And breathe back into the center. And let us bring the left hand down and raise your right hand all the way up, stretching out again. And breathe back into the center. And let's just focus on being here. Now open up your eyes, rest your hands onto the ground, coming to sit firmly onto your mat. And now let's lie on our back. We're gonna keep our knees over our ankles and press our hands into our mats. Let's take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, you're gonna lift your hips all the way up into our bridge pose. The more you push your hips into the ceiling, the stronger you'll be. Let's make it a little bit more challenging. Let's raise our right leg all the way up and we're gonna hold it right here. You can flex at your foot or point at your toes. Let us bring our right leg down and let's go to the left leg. Flexing or pointing, choice is yours. And now bring your legs down, back into bridge, and let's just hold it here. Now let's press our backs onto the ground and hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna rock side to side, massaging out our lower back. I know it may not look it, but your bridge pose is actually a very soft back bend. So this here will help you to undo any back bends you would have done. Now let's stop rocking. We're gonna bring the left leg down and cross the right leg over the left leg. As you breathe out, you're gonna pull that left thigh into you. Hug, hug, hug that left thigh into your chest, into your reclined pigeon pose. You're gonna feel this a lot in your hips. And now press down, uncross your legs and let's switch it out. So our left leg now goes over the right thigh and we breathe out as we pull that right thigh into us. Pulling as much as we can. And now let's uncross our legs, bring both legs straight up into the air. Now we're gonna flex both feet towards us, rolling our ankles around in a little circle. Just undoing whatever foot pressure we may have put on them. Relaxing. And now let's stop rolling and we're gonna bring both legs straight onto the ground. Press your palms into the floor. Take a super deep breath in here. And when you breathe out, I want you to raise onto the crown of your head, pushing your chest all the way up into your fish pose. Focus on breathing very deeply here, opening up your chest. And now roll your way out of your fish pose, coming to lie in your savasana with butterfly legs. So we're gonna bring the bottoms of our feet together again. We're gonna rest our right hand on our chest and our left hand on our tummy. Let's zero in on our breathing here. Once more, let us listen for our five sounds around us. 
focusing intently on those five sounds. Savasana. Now, let us open up our eyes, close our legs, hug our knees towards our chest, and roll our forehead into our knees. We're gonna roll to the right side and make our way up off of the ground. And we're done. How's everybody feeling? Good job. I know that was a good job. This was really easy. All right, so see you next time. Bye.